Okay, I don't know what happened to my other mirror video. I mean, it was on YouTube and it's lost in cyberspace. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and recut it. Got an imaginary line on there. I'm going to get my oil. Being this is a piece of quarter inch glass. Okay, got my oil across there. Got my dowel rod. We don't want it under there yet. Now we're going to make our cut. And as before, try to carry a straight line, follow your mark. You have to push down a little extra hard, harder than normal, but I mean not too hard to break your, your glass cutter. Probably about five or ten pounds worth of effort. Gloves. Safety glasses. Now the dowel rod. Make sure it's wooden, not steel. You want to try to get it right on the dowel rod, right on top of your mark. And this is what sometimes happens. We have got a bad break in there. So I'm gonna get my pliers and see if we can't, see if we can't break that little piece off of there. Normally what happens, it'll crack up and then of course we lose our. Well, I had some real wide pliers, but I can't find them. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna see if we can do it. See, I got duct tape on there, steel, away from glass. You still want something on here to keep yourself away from breaking glass. Yeah, we did pretty good. I don't think we're going to do very good this next time, but we're going to try it. My golly, we did good there. One more piece. Okay. That's not bad. Okay, now we got a pretty bad rough edge here, but we're now this is where we're going to take our sander. About, okay, now we get to another sander. Now this is your, your paint grinder. The, the only problem with this one, you have to be real careful because it'll get this glass really hot really fast. So you have to kind of work in a small area and fast. If you try to stay in one area too long, what's going to happen? It's going to get hot and crack on you. Well, we're going to go ahead and go with this just to kind of show you. And uh, this one, make darn sure you're wearing safety glasses and gloves. And in doing this kind of stuff, you want the best safety glasses you can find. I got our piece, piece of lumber across the top to keep our piece of glass from moving because of outside you need both hands because you're going to put in a lot more pressure with a belt sander.
Now when you come over here to the ends, you want to exert just very little pressure because what happened, that sharp point will cut your, cut your belt. So you want to be very careful. Okay, what we're gonna try to do is I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see that little score mark from my glass cutter, but we're gonna grind this thing down to that mark just to kind of kind of give you an idea on how long it takes to get about a quarter of an inch. As soon as I get my glove on. Yeah, see what happens. See, it's already getting hot and chipped the edge off of it. So we're not going to go anymore. We're, we went about an eighth of an inch. Okay, now we're going to run at an angle so we can run a soft edge on it. Okay, and then what we'll do, then we flip it over and do the other side. But now what you do when you get done with it, and then you come in with your 80, 120, probably 120 would be better. And you can finish this up and you get a nice little mirror finished edge on this thing. Now you can't do a bevel. Or run it. When, you, when you do your final lap on this thing, you don't want to run it like this. You want to run it at an angle. Because if you run it like this, you're going to leave scratches this way. But if you run across the grain, then you're going to have a better looking finish. I'm going to do a little bit with this one. Just, I mean, it's not going to come out real well than it would with a 120. But it'll kind of give you an idea. on the edge that you can accomplish and like I said once you okay here's your here's your factory edge right here see that's that's quite nice edge here's the edge you've been working on so you can see the lines going down you can see this is where we ran it across that way see it cleaned it up really nice and that's what you want. Of course, you just have to spend a lot of time with it. You can do that. Hopefully, you can get a better cut than what I did. Mine looks pretty bad, but luckily, this mirror is not going anywhere. Well, I wish you the best of luck.